Hello, beautiful. Happy Friday. Are you ready for the weekend? Do you have big plans? Labor Day. Oh my gosh, exciting. We made it to September. <laughs> the Love Diet is open for enrollment. And today I wanted to share with you two aspects of the Love Diet and how they're showing up in my life and how I'm noticing changes in my life. Changes that I have wanted for so long are just, they're just happening through me. It's, it's so beautiful. Today I was driving home from a hike and I was driving through our neighborhood and the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. Reno's developing like crazy and so roads that drive through neighborhoods are now becoming thoroughfares, like main drives, so to speak. And I'm cruising on down the hill, right around the, right around the speed limit, right around the 25 miles an hour. And I am noticing the people walking their dog. It's kind of, see, it's my neighborhood. And there's a van behind me, pulls up, the van pulls up. And they pull up behind me and I could, wasn't even noticing them really, except that they were very, very, very close. And I'm waving, just driving along. And, the van pulls out and passes me. Cool, right? They've got some place to go, they're in a hurry, and I'm too slow. And as they do that, there's an oncoming car that has to swerve over into the bike lane, and there are people walking their dog, and they all like kind of freak out. And there happened at the time this all was occurring. Construction, there's construction everywhere. So the construction truck, big I don't know, big thing. It was pulling out and it had to stop real quick and it was not happy and made lots of noise. And I'm just driving along and what I was sort of experiencing in my system <clears throat> was this, this calmness, this calm kindness. It was a recognition that I have in the past been that person. And not that long past. And maybe later today I'll be that person. but. I am not that person. I am getting to choose the type of person I show up as. So I won't be that person later today. I get to choose how I am. And how I am is someone who cares about my neighbors. I, I care about my experience when I walk Stella through this neighborhood. I experience I am you I am you like I am in the car but an hour ago I was walking down this road I was slicing the turkey breast I was loading the groceries like I have this respect for others as a result of falling more deeply in love with myself so now it makes sense to me to go slower, even though I have somewhere to be, because I want your experience to be safe and good, and I like you. And then of course, you know, of course, of course, as we know that it happens, a mile or so down the road, I got to wave <laughs> at the driver of the van as I passed him. Where are we going? Where are we? We think we're in such a hurry. And I had no other emotion other than like, have a nice day. And I just realized fear dissolves in love. Fear cannot exist in a state of love. When I am in a loving state, I can't experience fear, anxiety, anger, worry, urgency, irritation, frustration, mad. They're not available to me. Even when somebody wants to pull a dangerous maneuver that may affect my life, I, there was no upset. When I am in love, I am not in fear. When I am not in fear, I am present and conscious to my life, the life that is happening, the people walking on the sidewalk, the dog wanting to jut into the street, the construction person pulling in, I am 
conscious that I get to choose my reactions, my responses, and my emotions. I get to choose who I am when I show up for you in this world. When I am in love, I am not being controlled by the fearful mind machine. The mind machine may spout fearful things, but they are dissolved immediately in love. And when I show up, you're going to treat me differently when I am secure and safe and calm and joyful and feeling that my life is a gift, not a life sentence. Oh, so unsafe is just another illusion. Anything that I am doing, any behaviors of mine that I am, I'm taking this action because I feel insecure. I have to safety. I, I'm going to lose my job if I don't get there on time. Therefore, I must speed. All lies, all lies, all dissolved in love. Present to the life that is here consciously living. Oh, I chose to sleep in and run late. It's not actually the woman in front of me causing my upset right now. Speaking of illusions, a second aspect of the love diet, the first being when we fall more deeply in love, we, we create this awareness, this sense, we start to live in safety. And that changes our behavior and what shows up for us in life. There's another component to this journey. There are four. But another component to the love diet is assuming in our favor. So let's talk about that one. I have an example from my own life, of course. Speaking of illusions, the other day I had the thought, That's a thought that has been programmed into my mind. My coding, it's a coding of mine. It's a thought that has been thought upon with emotion for a significant length of time. It has become a belief. So my belief, my mother, I received a message from my mother and I went, oh, my mom does that love her. It's looking through that filter. It's an automatic programming of my mind machine. And as that started, right as the, my mom, my own mother doesn't love me, as the emotion began, there was just the space, the gap that I, that I, I talk about, that other people talk about, just that breath of like, wait a second, wait a second, how can that be true? Because this isn't my first rodeo. This isn't the first time that I have had that thought. And it certainly isn't the first time that I have seen through that lie. She said this. Old programming said she doesn't love you. The gap, the breath, love for myself. No. There is no way in heck that my mother does not love me. Try again. <laughs> so I assume that life is always working out for me. Why wouldn't I? Life is a co-creation. I am a human being. You are a human being. We are on this beautiful planet having an experience. We're not the only thing here. We're not the only intelligence, energy. We're not, we're not alone so to speak. I am co-creating with life. And how do I, how can I look you in the eye and say that to you? It's because watch your life. Stuff happens. Stuff you didn't design, stuff you didn't order shows up. My mom sent me an email. I am the one who read it and assigned meaning to it. I am the one who read it and through the lens, the filter of my confabulator, my mind machine, my programming, I read it. I read it through the coding that says your mom doesn't love you. And so, oh, but I know better. And I know that's coding and programming. 
and I assume in my favor because it's a co-creation. I make a move, life makes a move. What the heck is this garbage? Oh, we're, we're, we're walking a path. We've got a destination in mind, life and I. And in order for the next step to be taken, this had to happen. It's the only way to get there. Okay, so this isn't a problem. It's just appearing like a problem right now. This actually is just the next step on my path to getting exactly what I want. Life is always working out for me. Things always happen for me in my favor, in my advantage. Okay, okay, let's reread this email. I know my mother loves me. My mom loves me. I mean, it's ridiculous to think she doesn't. She loves me. Reread the message. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, that's a whole, that's an entirely different message. It isn't the outpouring and gushing of love that I might desire most of all, but it was definitely not the smack in the face I don't love you that I had originally read it to be. Assume a different meaning. If it looks like a problem, redefine it. Look at a different way you find a new perspective. And so now with the new perspective of my mom loves me, cares for me, supports me, we have a loving, close, supportive relationship, I respond. And her response is loving. In, t in fact, it was, I love you. It didn't have to correct her. I didn't have to show her the truth. I didn't have to say, mom, you're supposed to love me. And I didn't have to feel bad. I didn't have to feel upset. I feel love. I feel love. And uh, all that means is okay. I have assigned a meaning. I have seen not love. I am the one who's assigned the meaning. So Look for the love, find the love. It's changing everything. It's changing everything. And it's so beautiful and so gentle and there's so much love and so much respect. I'm gonna check some notes here, pardon, pardon my awkwardness here. That's it, yeah, I got all the things I wanted to say, said. The Love Diet is open for enrollment. It will remain open for enrollment until Sunday. The price is $444. It is 30 days. And it is what I call an immersive experience. And what I mean by that is while I am your guide, you have the availability to four days of work each week, diving, exploring, trying on. So you can be as immersed in this experience as you choose. You can be a different version of yourself at the end of 30 days. Why do I say that? Because it is what has happened for me. And I'm going further. <laughs> There are other ways to work with me, shorter ways, ways that you can get a taste or a sample. I will be talking more about them next week, but they currently exist. I do have a little bit more information in my stories, both on Facebook and on Instagram. And I would love to have a conversation with you about these, these things that are happening to us, for us, through us, every single day of our lives. Life is life. It's an experience in and of itself. And then we decide we're gonna go be construction men and <laughs> firefighters and we, but that's all extra, it's all more. There's a beautiful life being lived right here and the more that I lean into it and the more that I, I really focus on these subtle details, the more powerful they're becoming and the more my life is opening and the more love I am feeling. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you for being here. As always, take good care, have a great time and talk to me if you would like. Mm -hmm.